dear students now we will discuss some basic points of parallel lines now introduction if two lines in a plane do not intersect each other anywhere are called parallel lines okay example railway tracks opposite sides of the textbook opposite edges of the ladder opposite edges of the top of the rectangular story table opposite edges of the blackboard opposite Uh, edges of the floor, etc. Here I have shown some figures also. You see from this, you can understand about the parallel lines. Then properties of parallel lines: L and M are two lines, and T is the transversal intersecting them at two different points. Then angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four, angle five, angle six, angle seven, angle eight are formed here. Now corresponding angles. Angle one and angle six are called corresponding angles. Angle two and angle five. Angle three and angle seven. Angle four and angle eight. Then alternate entry angles. Angle three and five. Angle four and angle six are called alternate interior angles. Alternate exterior angles. Angle one and angle eight. Angle two and angle seven are called alternate inter exterior angles. Then co interior angles. Angle three and angle six, angle four and angle five are called co-interior angles, co-exterior angles. Angle one and angle seven, angle two and angle eight are called co-exterior angles. Now we will discuss one by one. First of all, interior angles and exterior angles. Interior angles means the angles which lie inside two parallel lines. They are called interior angles. Here you see angle three, angle four, angle five, and angle six lie. Inside two in two parallel lines L and M, and here T is the transversal. Then exterior angles. Exterior angles angle one, angle two, angle seven, and angle eight lie outside two parallel lines L and M, and they are called exterior angles. Okay. Now corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are equal to each other. Now you see. Angle one is equal to angle five. Angle two is equal to angle six. Angle three is equal to angle seven. Angle four is equal to angle eight. And it, you can see it is visible easily. You can identify easily that I have given the same colors. Okay. Then alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles are equal. You know three angle three angle four angle five angle six are interior angles. Now angle three is equal to angle five. Angle four is equal to angle six. Then alternate exterior angle. Alternate exterior angles are also equal to each other. Then angle one is equal to angle seven. Angle two is equal to angle eight. Okay. Then co-interior angles. Co-interior angles are supplementary. That means what is co? What do you mean by co-interior angles? Now the angles, interior angles, which lie. One side of the transversal, they are called co-interior angles. Co-interior angles are supplementary. That means angle three plus angle six is equal to 180 degree. Angle one plus angle seven is equal to 180 degree. Okay. Then co-exterior angles. Co-exterior angles are supplementary. That is angle one plus angle eight is equal to 180 degree. Angle two plus angle seven is equal to 180 degree. Co-exterior angle means the exterior angles which lie outside. Um, two parallel lines L and M, and one side of the transversal. Okay, these are the basic points of parallel lines. You remember it, then you can solve the examples of parallel lines. Thank you. Bye.